Aries, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. This is Silla V. I hope you guys are doing marvelous. I hope you guys are great and all that good stuff. So I decided to bring you a reading again today, right? And this is, so this is just a vibe with me type of a reading. So the reason why um, I did this is because I wanted to, okay? I wanted to bring a reading for you guys. Um, so this is going to just be a um, positive vibe reading. All right, for those that have been with me for a while, you know, sometimes I do this. Sometimes I do things, right? Sometimes a lot of people do things differently. So, you know, rock with me if you want to. Um, if you're not able to do so because you can't see the cards, then, um, yeah. So, let's see what's going on with my Aries, okay? A like, of course. Subscribe, of course. If you're interested in my content and all that good stuff. Okay, and um, yeah, if you're interested in a personal reading, my email is below. Let's get started. What's going on with my Aries during this time? I'm going to move away from the mic. Okay. Phone call. I'm tempted to call. Somebody is very tempted to call. Bottom of the deck, we have torture. Literally, why hasn't this person called, right? Um, it's like for some of you guys, yeah, you might be in a separation with someone. But it's like, it's like, this is a past person, obviously, for some of you guys. This is a past person here. Um, I'll touch on the new in a minute, but this is a past person. And I just see like, like the phone cord, like, you know, we're talking about the old, old phones here. It's like, there's an issue with communication. There's an issue with somebody reaching out, right? I've thought and felt like this person was or could be or is the one for a very long time. But because of this person's secrets, I'm starting to feel different, right? I'm starting to feel different about how things are going, okay? And, you know, it's becoming torturous. Like, I feel like I'm, I feel like this person is trying to tempt tempt me or trying to torture me but for some of you guys it's not really working it's um what it's actually doing is it's pushing you away okay for some of my aries out there aries sun moon venus signs okay for some of you it's just like um you know i thought this person was going to reach out i thought they were going to say something i thought they were going to wish me um you know happy holidays or anything like that but i feel like this person is not doing anything Okay, music. So this reminds me, music at the bottom of the deck reminds me when I started this reading, all I could, the song that I heard in my head was, and I'm not a singer, okay? It's, um, Ooh Child, Things Are Gonna Get Easier, okay? I don't know who that's by, but, um, that's what I was like humming for a while. So I feel like a lot of you guys are just realizing, like, this is actually going to be okay. I'm going to become okay. Love is going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay, whether it's money, whether it's somebody I have on my mind, whether it's somebody I invested in for a very long time. Things are going to be okay, right? Okay, so let's get another. Let's get another one. Thank you. Okay, so we have so close, all right? And it's interesting because at the bottom of the deck, we have regrets. We were so close to making things amazing. We were so close to getting to that place of, you know, love, fulfillment, right? We were there. We were right there. But you did something that just, you know, ruined things, okay? Whether it was you, Aries, or someone. But someone made a mistake, okay? Someone made a mistake and someone feels like... I ruined things and I miss that closeness. I miss the closeness that we had. I miss the connection that we had. I miss the bond that we had. I miss it all. So, so close, right? Whatever that may mean to you, we were so close. Okay, we were so close and yeah, okay. For some of you, it's like, you know, I'm tired of hearing this past person. Yeah, all right, I'm sorry. But this is what's coming up. Okay. And I feel like, again, like I said, I feel like this is, uh, it was a mutual connection. It wasn't something as far as like, um, you were the only person feeling this. I feel like this person felt at home with you. This person felt, um, connected with you soul level. Okay. So I feel like a, both of you guys are in this position where someone's being very stubborn and they're not wanting to reach out. It's like both of us are quiet. All right. Let me just see how this person is feeling. 
All right, let me see how this person is feeling currently. How is Aries person feeling? Okay, we have the Eight of Swords here. Stuck in their mind. Stuck about what? All right. This person could be stuck in their past, all right? Because this person looks like they're grieving. Um, this person is stuck in their mind. They may be stuck in another situation, but I see this person overthinking, all right? With the torture card that came out pre uh, previously, it's more like I feel like I'm stuck in my situation, whatever that situation may be. Right, whether I've been abandoned, whether I have a certain way of thinking about things, whether I'm not ready for a commitment, whether I am depressed or whether I'm afraid, I'm stuck in that energy. I'm stuck there and it's torturing me. And yes, I tried to love. Yes, I tried to um, connect. I did and I, I did, right? But I feel like this person is still stuck in this place of just grieving, still grieving okay and this could be you right for some of you guys there's like um an argument here that happened or a back and forth that happened right something just wasn't stable um and i feel like this person's going back and forth in their mind all right they're going back and forth in their mind whether they should say something reach out now when it comes to a reconciliation this may be somebody here that isn't sure what to say they're not too sure if they're capable of doing this any longer all right how's my aries feeling okay we have the hangman um i'm about to view this in a whole different perspective right we have the judgment here too and magician like and the queen of swords boundaries right the moment or the moments that i spent alone the moments that i spent thinking pondering trying to figure things out on my own right pisces or whoever um during that time of trying to figure out how to make this work try to make this move into calmer waters or hoping that you would reach out or the times where i sat back and really viewed things in a calmer way i'm starting to realize that um it's out of my hands right and i can't do anything any longer there's nothing i could do i could no longer try to force you to speak to me i can't do anything it's out of my hands so i feel like a lot of you guys are just viewing this in a different perspective right for some of you it's like i'm extremely afraid i'm scared i'm worried that this person is letting me go or i'm worried that this person doesn't even think about me and some of you are just worried that you are um letting this person go all right and ready to move on all right so i do feel like you guys are at a standstill for some of you guys right now um i feel like i'm in a standstill and i feel like i'm healing i feel like i'm healing and i do not want to disrupt that healing right i don't want these hindrances to come into um you know to come in and conflict with what I'm doing because I'm really trying to heal from this. I'm really trying to grow from this. God knows I'm trying to heal, right, guys? And I feel like you guys are doing that, all right? Because I feel like this person has put you on hold for a very long time for some of you guys. It's like TikTok, right? And it's like I'm trying to possibly move on with my life here. All right. What can Aries expect from this person? Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. What else could Aries expect? Thank you. All right. For some of you guys, this person will try to win you back. Okay, this person will definitely try to win you back. All right. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, this person just really moved very slow. I get a lot of like manipulative energy, but I do feel like this person um, is viewing you as somebody that you know, they had great success with. For some of you guys, you guys may be financially stable, right? For some of you guys, it's like, I view this person as a very um, stable individual in terms of um, love or in terms of how I felt, with, you know, about this person. For some of you guys, this person actually wanted to build a family with you. But because again, of their past, for some of you, this person may have a child here. Okay, but someone here is trying to move into a place of stability, but I do see this person just moving up very slow. Okay, that's for some of you guys. All right, what else can my Aries expect? Okay, we have the Emperor. All right, this could be a father's guy, person, girl, 
guy, whoever. Could be a father here, but I feel like this person's very stubborn, okay? Um, it feels like this person has a very big ego pride thing going on. And it's um, right now they're in a hot seat because it's like everything is on them and they know the ball is in their court after they realize that you're not doing anything any longer. So I feel like this person could be a very stubborn, very uh, money focused as well. I see here too. This could be somebody that has Aries in their chart or just very, very stubborn. All right. Not to say Aries is stubborn or anything, but I'm just saying like this person looks like they're, you know, like my pride is up there. And right now I'm just focused on other things. And, you know, I don't know what to say. Okay. So I'm going to look at the outcome and then we're going to look at my singles. All right. Those that are not worried about the past person, okay? We'll, we'll look into that as well and see what's going on. But I feel like this person knows. This person knows that um, you're getting fed up, okay? And if they don't know now, they will, all right? I feel an energy of this person definitely figuring then that out, all right? All right, let's see what's going on with my singles at this time. What's going on with my single Aries at this time? What's going on? All right, let's see. Single Aries, what do they need to know moving forward here? My Aries, single Aries out there. Oh, wow. Okay. So a lot of my single Aries, um, I feel like you guys are on this, um, <laughs> you guys are on this, this energy of, I do not know if I'm really ready for love right now. I feel like for some of you guys, it's like, I want to take things slow. I feel like for some of you guys, you are pushing some new people away. All right. You are taking your time. It looks like there's like this new energy that's trying to come closer to you for some. Okay. This may be a new person or new people, but I see people trying to get close to you and you're not really interested in that right now. For some of you guys, it's like, I'm really focused on work right now. And I'm a bit worried about my finances, right? And I'm actually going to commit to working towards my goals, all right? I do see you guys trying to work on your goals right now, but I feel like it's like this, there's like this constant thought of a past person that keeps popping up in your mind of how somebody was very deceptive towards you, okay? It could be a Capricorn, could be a Virgo or Taurus, all right? as much as I want to focus on my money and I want to grow and be abundant and be financially stable, you know, meant, I keep thinking about this past person and how they did that to me. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you guys are moving away from that. Hopefully this uh, mentality of holding on to the past. I feel like you guys are no longer going to remain imprisonment with the past any longer. It's like, I'm going to release the past. And I'm just going to do better. All right. The past holds no power over my future. All right. So I definitely see you guys doing that. Um, I will say for some of you guys, this person that this new person, um, be very careful because there's someone here that seems to be a bit obsessive. Okay. For some of you guys, this new person that may be coming your way here, they come off like they're single. They come off like they're probably, um, very abundant in a lot of ways, but be very mindful because this person is very, um, mm, very possessive. Okay. Very possessive. I feel like this person is still healing from something that happened in the past that they're not telling you about. All right. This person could be a workaholic where they work a lot and they like to, you know, they come off like they like to give and things like that. But somebody's being very deceptive here. A little sneaky energy, okay? But I will say that a lot of my Aries moving forward, you're definitely focusing on your finances and you're being... You're, you're focusing on it and that's like your main priority, okay? Healing and um, spending more time with family, spending more time with those that truly care and love you, all right? It's like change time. It's all about change time, right? It's like I'm loving those that love me. I'm embracing those that are embracing me. That's what I'm doing, all right? Let's see what else we have. Let's see what final messages we have here for you guys mm -hmm. Aries 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 what does my Aries need to know moving forward here okay first okay 
patience. So we have the hangman and we have the six of swords. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're, you're really wanting something to work. Okay. This may not be you. Could be someone else, you know, taking how it resonates, all that good stuff. Um, but I feel like someone here is really just patiently waiting for somebody to walk away from something or patiently waiting for somebody to make something work or figure themselves out. Okay. Cause I see you guys at a standstill. Okay, but I also see a light bulb coming off for a lot of you guys and you're also starting to realize that something may not be able to work anymore because someone has put so much energy in, her, in hurting this dynamic, right? Being deceptive, being um, manipulative. And I feel like you are understanding Maya Angelou, right? And you're saying, I've seen this person's true colors and I'm not going to put a blind eye buy it. I'm not going to act as if I don't understand this person's true colors. I've seen it a number of times. So I do feel like you guys are, for some, it's like I'm at a pause right now and I'm taking my time. I'm still trying to heal something from the past. Okay. So that is all I have for you guys. I love you. All right. Happy holidays. Stay safe. And I love you.